Cheeksters, how YouTube hope your day is going well. Like the title says, we're gonna be talking about things that make our outfits look cheap. You guys have been requesting for me to make this video since forever. So if you're excited for this, make sure to hit that like button. But not only will I be talking about the items that make our outfits look cheap, I'll also be sharing what to buy to make your outfits look elevated, chic, and like that ladies in luxury hashtag. So if you're excited for this, make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end so you do not miss any of the gems. So before I get into this video, I wanna say that some of this might rub some of you the wrong way, and some of you may disagree with me. And if you do, that's what the comment section is for. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi, and I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And if that's the kind of stuff you're into, then you have found your tribe, you're in the right place, get comfortable. So the first item that makes our outfits look cheap is cheap faux leather. Oh my God, cheap faux leather, especially since we're going into this season, is one of the things that always <laughs> rubs me the wrong way and it screams cheap. You could be wearing the nicest dress, the nicest you know, t-shirt and jeans, and once your outerwear is made out of cheap leather, it just cheapens the entire outfit, okay? And it's not just your outerwear, it's your shoes, it's your bag, it's basically anything that is made out of that cheap, thin leather. Say no to cheap leather, even if it means going thrift shopping, that always looks a hundred times better than that thin plastic bag type leather. Now, I'm not saying that all faux leather is bad. There's some great quality faux leather out there, and of course I'm gonna be showing you guys examples throughout this entire video. So instead of opting for anything that's super shiny, super thin, super brittle feelings, instead opt for faux leather that has a little bit of weight to it and has a little bit more of a matte texture to it. Natural leather is more matte in color and natural leather does come with some weight. For example, this um, pouch bag that I was carrying, I've seen this pouch bag done all the way in the thousands of dollars and all the way in like the tens, right? Like places like the place that starts with an S and ends with an N. I remember seeing this bag over there and I opted to spend double the amount and get a faux leather version from Amazon that had a little bit more substance and had a little bit more weight to it. And you can tell, even from online, when you look at the pictures and the leather seems very shiny and looks very thin, that's a no, stay away from that. And don't even get me started on like buying like outerwear with that because especially in this season where the first thing people see is your outerwear, you don't want to skimp on that. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. So the next thing that makes your outfit look look cheap, it's a little bit more hard to define and it's really wearing too many prints. Now, when I say this, I like to think of people whose style is a little bit more maximalist instead of more minimalist, but I personally have found that minimal style tends to look a little bit more polished and tends to look a little bit more elevated. Just facts, you know, it, it's a little bit harder to make a lot of prints and a lot of colors look polished and elevated and a lot more easier to make. So for example, a shirt that is like neon and then it has like a colorful animal print and then it has like, I don't know, stripes. An outfit that has all of that going on is going to a chain print, a stripe, an animal print, a bold color. That's gonna look very cheap. That's just facts. It's gonna look very cheap. And I know that for my maximalists out there who love color, who love print, um, this may be hard to swallow, but it's very hard to make color look expensive and polished. I would say that instead of opting for wearing everything in one outfit, so it looks like a waste disposal of 
prints and color. Maybe um, play around with prints in the same sort of like color scheme. So if you're gonna do um, a, a animal print, like maybe like a, a leopard print, it's black, it's usually brown and a beige, then go with a black and white stripe. So you are still in the same color family, okay? Or instead of pairing two blocks of prints, maybe break it up. So a print, a solid, and a print in an accessory, a printed shoe or a printed bag. So that way you're still sort of like grounding the prints with some solids that are that help to make the look a little bit more polished. Let me know if you agree or disagree. So continuing on with too many, too many embellishments. It all kind of follows in the same category of the print, right? I find especially when we are doing fast fashion, embellishments tend to be not made the best, okay? They, they're not sewed on very well. The quality of the embellishments tend to be plasticky or very like hollow, thin metal, and that just cheapens the outfit. So imagine an outfit with like pearls and then, you know, crystals. Oh my God, okay. Crystals are definitely one of the, 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 the embellishments that tend to look the cheapest because the, the crystals that they put in most of the pieces that we get at fast fashion places are not the best. So just imagine an outfit with some crystals, with some pearls, with some funky shaped buttons, that just is super busy and just and especially when the quality is bad and typically it's too heavy for the fabric itself that it's being sewed on. So you're seeing threads, you're seeing the fabric pulling. It just ends up looking super tacky and no good. Okay, and it totally cheapens your outfits. So I would say if you are on a budget and you can't afford the more higher quality better made embellished pieces that you just stay away because they will make your outfit look cheap. Now, if you find a, an embellished piece that you absolutely love and that is made, not made the best, I would suggest taking that piece and getting it reinforced. I know Nordstrom, if you're a Nordy Club member, they have alterations free. Usually your local um, dry cleaners have someone who comes in there and does alterations. Now it can get expensive, so you have to really weigh, like is it worth it for me to spend this extra 50, 60 dollars to have these embellishments reinforced? But I would recommend that. And I'm saying this because I remember getting uh, these slippers, okay, with the crystals. I knew they were gonna be bomb. I knew I was gonna get compliments. And I don't even what happened. Alex like threw the slipper probably and one of the embellishments fell off and I could never find it. And now I can't wear it because again, that's the issue with these pieces. So stay away from embellishments, especially if there's a lot going on, um, if you don't want to look cheap. So if you love embellishment, instead of opting for garments that are pre-embellished, actually add your own embellishment. For example, I know that pins are coming back in style. You can add a one, you can play around with different pins and different brooches. That way you actually control where the embellishments are placed, the quality of the embellishment. Um, you could go thrifting and find some really great quality, high quality pins and create something funky and fresh and new. Uh, if you got the coins, you know, Chanel makes some great pins. You can mix and match them. Or maybe instead of even putting it on your clothing, consider, you know, statement earrings or a statement necklace. Again, being sort of like uh, mindful that these pieces that you're wearing are high quality so they don't cheapen your entire look. So I have one more tip to share, which I think might be a little controversial, but I'm still gonna say it anyway. But before I continue, I would love to know in the comments below, do you agree or disagree with these points? And is there something that you see that you think makes an outfit instantly look cheap? Let me know 
in the comments below. So the next thing I think that makes your clothing look cheap, and some of you might not agree with me, is going to be clothing with built-in style elements. Again, this really matters if your most of your wardrobe is you know, filled with pieces from fast fashion retailers. Nine out of 10, these built-in fashion elements are not made well and typically aren't re reinforced well. So that includes like built-in belts, ruching, scrunched up sleeves. Nine times out of 10, anytime I see these blazers with the scrunched up sleeves, there's like a thread hanging off somewhere and it just looks a little, I don't know, it just does not look elevated, okay? And then, you know, when you look, or when you see the ruching on the back of the leggings, you know, those leggings that went viral on TikTok, First of all, I just personally feel that if you are over the age of like 25, you need to leave that alone because they lied to you. The only people whose butts actually look much better in them scrunched up leggings are the girls who are doing squats every day at the gym. Okay, that's just facts. All right. And finally, some of these um, design elements are very like trend based. And the thing about these trend based sort of like design elements is that retailers will con continue to keep making these style elements years and years and years after they're no longer current because people keep on buying that <coughs> peplum <coughs> cold shoulder top. If you're in the curvy community, you know that those are two styles that have been done to death. So definitely be wary, I would say, of you know these built-in style elements, especially if you're buying them from more affordable or fast fashion um, retailers. Also, I would add into this improperly fitted clothing, going through, cutting off all that loose thread, and you know making sure that things fit right because if it's like super oversized or super tight it's gonna look cheap and if the fabric has been worn and washed too many times and it's starting to fade that's also gonna look cheap which is really why it's really important to pay attention to garment care instructions to use like more higher um, quality detergents and soap maybe hand wash certain things and then pay a little bit more for certain things. I always say this for those basics that you wear every day. I think it's better to pay a little bit more so they wash and wear better over time. Some people prefer to pay a little bit less because they just wear it a couple of times and toss it, which is fine. I just think that it's not the best for the environment. So, so for details on this entire look, from the hair to the lip color to these necklaces, you can always find all of my featured items on the Like to Know It app. If you don't know what it is, it's basically the place where I put everything that I share, and not just me, thousands and thousands of your favorite influencers. I love the app because I can search for items. I get tons of inspo from home decor to fashion, all of that on the app. And the best part is that you can actually save your items so you can come back to them for later. You can create wish lists. You even get notified on the app if there's a price drop on anything that you saved. So I absolutely love that. If you don't have the app, it's super easy to download and to follow me there. So when I'm not on YouTube, you can always find me on Instagram. We have so much fun over there. I share daily-ish fashion and style inspiration. And if you happen to have a super quick question, Question, like you're about to check out and you need to know something about sizing or fit or shipping, you can always slide in my DMs over there. I pretty much answer those questions in real time. If you enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it, definitely hit that like button. Let me know again in the comments if you agree or disagree with these points. Um, cause I know some of you won't come for me and that's okay. Um, let's continue the conversation down there. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. Oh, 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 wait, wait, before you go, <laughs> check out this video and this video. I'm sure you'll love it.